Hello YouTubers, Alaska Prepper here. I just happened to find this article because I went to the news section of Chrome and I was not surprised by this. So as you can see here, the title is the US government canceled 362,000 passports last year. Was yours one of them? And the question is why? Why did the uh, U.S. government cancel 362,000 passports last year? Okay, so let's go ahead and and uh, read on. This is not a long article, so please bear with me. I'm going to try to make it as quick as possible. At the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen, I've got some subscriber shout-outs that I have to do because we've had quite a few subscribers. And as I mentioned before, uh, YouTube changed their, their creator studio, and I couldn't find them, and I was able to find them here a few days ago. Okay, find the new subscribers list. So we will go through that at the end of this video. So if you're a new subscriber and you want to hear your name shouted out, please stand by. Okay, so here we go. Starting in 2021, Americans will be required will require permission to visit Europe. Technically, the 26 borderless countries within Europe's uh, Schengen area, if that's how you pronounce it. The process will start out simple enough, taking about 10 minutes to complete and costing around $8. The EU, the EU estimates that it will grant about 95% of Americans who apply three years of access to the region. But what if you are part of the unlucky 5%? Over 12 million Americans travel to Europe each year, so upwards of 600,000 Americans could have travel entering the EU starting in 2021. That is if everything goes according to plans. But if these Americans had a passport from within the region like Italy or Spain, for example, then they would then they would not have to rely on chance. And having a second passport would help them from potential serious issues at home. Listen, this is this is the this is where I wanted to get to, ladies and gentlemen. Listen to this. For instance, last year the US government canceled three hundred sixty two thousand passports, all from people who they believe, right, who they believe owe some back taxes. So now, if the government deems it that you owe back taxes, whether they can prove it or not, all right, you're not going to be able to travel outside the U.S. At least this is how I'm reading this. If any of you guys have any additional information on this, let me know, okay? So, so um, uh, international flight... It, uh, I'm guessing that when you get on an airplane and you pay money to get on an airplane, it's a it's an individual or it's a private transaction between you and the uh, airline company that you're buying the airplane from. But now, if the government thinks that you owe money and back taxes, you're not going to be allowed to leave the country. All right. So that's how I'm reading this. So you know, ladies and gentlemen, remember I'm not a political channel i don't get into politics but that big wall that they're building we you know be careful what you wish for because that big wall that we're building in the southern border it might just be meant to keep us in all right instead of keeping other people out because this right here as i see it is a wall all right that is going to end up keeping people in the country and not allowing them to exit just because they owe money to the government or at least the government thinks they owe money to the government, all right? Think, think of the irony in that. We pay for government, and then they use the money that we pay them to restrict our travel. All right. Continuing, I say believed because they don't actually have to prove it. So they don't have to prove that you owe them money or that you owe back taxes, all right? I hate saying that you owe them money. There's very little due process. They don't have to go in front of a judge and provide evidence to an objective, independent third party. Instead, revoking a, a passport is a simple administrative procedure. Aside from taxes, the government can also deny or revoke a passport if you owe more than $2,500 worth of child support. That is how it is now. But with the rise of so many socialist politicians who know what excuses they might come up with next to cancel a passport. Having multiple passports is a great insurance policy. It means that you'll always have a place to go to where you can live, work, invest, bring, 
bring your family, etc. And it also means that you have the ability to move and travel. If you only have one passport and some bureaucratic, bureaucratic blunder causes yours to be revoked or frozen, your whole life can be turned upside down. Fortunately, there are a number of simple cost-effective ways to obtain a second passport, which by the way is 100% legal. If you're part of what I call the Lucky Bloodline Club, you could qualify for a second citizenship and second passport just for having ancestors in countries such as these. Armenia, Germany, Greece, Hungary, Ireland, Israel, Italy, Latvia, Lithuania, Luxembourg, Poland, Portugal, Romania, Spain, and the United Kingdom. Ancestry is generally the easiest and cheapest way to get foreign citizenship, but it can take time. The process usually involves contacting your nearest, nearest consulate and setting up an appointment, which might take months depending on the consulate. But that will give you time to gather all the necessary documents providing your line of ancestry, things like your grandparents' birth, birth or death and marriage certificates. Then there's an ancestral work that could qualify you for a second citizenship in Spain or Portugal. Both countries brutally expelled all Jewish residents around 500 years ago and now they offer amends in the form of citizenship for the descendants of uh, Sephardic Jews. Also, if you're Jewish, you easily qualify for Israel citizenship, which comes with great tax benefits if you actually move there. And by the way, all passports aren't equal. Many countries of this, on this list among the top-ranked passports are among the top-ranked passports according to the Sovereign Man Global Passport rankings. So I'm not going to continue, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to leave the link to this article if you guys want to take a look at it. But the main point that I wanted to make in reading this article is that the U.S. government can now deny you to leave the country if they deem it that you owe money in back taxes or if you owe child support. It says here that the owing child support part is already in place. But now, if you owe money to the government and what they deem is money that you owe them in taxes, now they can keep you from leaving the country. So, I'm not sure about you all, but that doesn't seem like freedom to me, okay? I think that owing taxes is more of a civil matter and not a matter in which your travel should be restricted, okay? Now, that's not saying that some people uh, that owe a lot of taxes... Uh, would like to leave the country so that they can be absolved from having to pay those taxes, all right? That may be a fact in some cases, but what if they make a mistake? It's just like the no-fly list, all right? There's been a lot of people on that no-fly list that have been placed there mistakenly, all right? So now, you know, what if some bureaucrat, you know, that makes these decisions is told by someone or bribed by someone hey, I don't like what this guy is saying on YouTube, or I don't like what this guy, the articles this guy's writing on this newspaper, or that newspaper, or this blog, or that blog. And they say, why don't you go ahead and put them on the list where they can't fly, because it's deemed that they owe the government back taxes. Very slippery slope, and I think it's very, this is a very dangerous road that we're going to go, that we're going on, or that we're traveling, all right? Uh, if we, I was going to say if we allow this to happen, but it looks like it's already happening because this is just last year that they canceled 362,000 passports because they deemed that those peoples owed back taxes to the government. So let me know what you guys think about this. If any of you have any more information on this, I think this article just came out. So yeah, it's just a day old. All right. I just saw it. Uh, this is the first place I saw it at, so I'm not sure if it's being reported anywhere else, all right? Let me know what you guys think. I think this is pretty interesting, and in a way, it can be pretty scary, all right? Because what what next, all right? What other excuses are they going to use? Uh, it's like I've told you before, ladies and gentlemen, we are tax cattle, all right? We are not citizens here. We are revenue generators, all right? They depend on us to stay enslaved to the debt-based economy that has been constructed for us and they expect us to pay air quotes our fair share all right 
So having said that, ladies and gentlemen, let me go ahead and give a shout out to our new subscribers. Uh, to our new subscribers, thank you very much. All right, we got quite a few here in the last couple of weeks. So I'm going to start it off really quick and try to get through this. But uh, only because I'm going through this quickly doesn't mean that I don't appreciate you guys subscribing. To all you new subscribers, thank you very much for subscribing. Uh, I, I truly appreciate you guys taking the time to join our community. And I hope that you find a lot of value in the content, but more so in the interactions that go on in the comments section all right because we have a lot of people here who like to interact and share ideas and information with each other okay so i think that's the most valuable part of this community is the information and the interaction amongst the community members okay so let's start it off janez poland liz lanny zachary rampage teresa will jeremy Two by twos and tin foil. Victor, hey, we have another Victor in our community. Perry, 20 for hell. Coffee, cigars, and business. Eric, I am America too. Jamie Smith, Angel Romero, David, Na Aithan Ben Israel. I hope I did that well. Ted, free like water. Brian, Elena, Daniel. Unlimited, Mark, Lions, New Tester, Ray, Chris, Tobias, Stinky Tuna Fish, <laughs> uh, Mike Curves, Harry, H. Green, Donna, Surviving Life, Castaway, Maria LaRue, uh, Canon Showy, Canon Yoshi, I think it is, yeah, Sean, Cogsit, Fred, Charles, Mercatur 360, JD, Linda, Jacqueline, Listener, Black Dog, Bob Wolf, Todd Hill, Thomas from Texas, Jean, Laura, Portwin, Stephen, Mark, Julie, Lori, the J, Christine, Christian, Matthew, Laura, Alex, Shirley, Preston, Charles, Shane, Swole Humanist, Mark, Gray, Mala, Adnelson, Teresa, Danny, John, Bradley, April, Javi, Kareen, Michael Langford, Vicky, Wicker, Wanda Sturman, Deanna Keller, Nick, Chris, Christina, Christina Moore, Pepper Jim, Blake, Eureka Pedro, Candy, Patriot, Wayne, the Chris Avery, Rados Law, Rados Law. <laughs> I hope I did that right. Maku Kid, Mama, or Mama Four, Ima Mona, Mark, Greta, Yvette, Prissy Powell, Hobmeyer, Al, Angelo, Dave. Tiny Cat, Ben, Romero, Nicolas, Sarah, uh oh, my computer, okay, Sarah, Anna, my computer locked up there for a minute, Catherine, Pat, Josh, Gabe, Bronco, Cold Hard Truth News, and last but not least, our newest addition to the community is Brian Durante. Hey, thank you very much, guys. I can't thank you too thank you enough for joining the community. Like I said, I hope that you enjoy the content. I hope you get a little entertainment factor out of it. But mostly, I do hope that you all interact with the community and provide some suggestions, recommendations, advice, and encouragement to all of our preppers out there. All right. And last but not least, I wanted to do a quick shout out to some of my contributors. Mr. Uh, Dr. Kit, thank you very much for the coffees. He bought uh, the AP family a coffee and he bought Little Miss Alaska Prepper a hot chocolate. Uh, Angie D, thank you very much. Beth, uh, oh, this is Angie. Angie, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Uh, Beth and Dee Dee, hey, thanks a lot, guys. I truly appreciate your support. Uh, uh, you don't own, you don't have to support just by buying me coffees. Uh, if you want to see how to support the channel, please just go to the description. Uh, uh, take a look at the links but the best way that you can support the channel if you like is just if you like the content please give it a like please comment please share 
all right share some of these videos with people that you love especially the prepping videos and especially with those that you deem are on the edge or on the fence of whether they want to or do not want to prep okay send them over here so they can take a look at uh, what an awesome community we have uh, also if you take a look at the links just uh, contribute in any way that you can I truly do appreciate it for those of you that have made it to this part of the video and are still here if you have not seen my last video my last Sunday video okay not this Sunday don't let me confuse you not this Sunday but the Sunday prior to that where I was canning some beef all right so go to that canning video if you haven't seen that yet that video uh, is the video that acts as an entry for you to be entered to win that pressure cooker okay so if you guys don't have a pressure cooker and you like to enter for a chance to win one go to my previous canning video which was two Sundays ago all you have to do is leave a comment like and you'll be entered I will be disclosing the winner of that pressure canner in this upcoming Sunday's video okay so this Sunday coming up uh, tune in we'll be doing a live chat premiere uh, at 0800 Alaska time 0800 or 8 a.m. Alaska time all right this coming Sunday and I will be letting you guys know who the winner of that pressure cooker is okay so having said that ladies and gentlemen let me go ahead and sign off because I'm looking at my dinner right now and uh, I want to get to it all right so remember to be good to each other when good people do good things good things happen remember to reach one teach one and repeat if we all did this the world would be a better place and you know it will be a better place many blessings to all of you and your families this is Alaska Prepper, and I'm out.